What if the ocean didn't just rise, it raced straight through a city? In November 2013, a storm called Yolanda, Typhoon Haiyan, hit the central Philippines. On the map, trace your finger to the Visayas. That's where islands like Leyte and Samar sit right along a funnel-shaped bay. Perfect path, worst timing. Winds screamed well over 300 kilometers an hour, but it wasn't just wind. The bay near the Clobine squeezed water into a fast towering surge that smashed through homes, streets, even an airport. Whole neighborhoods vanished in minutes. Families climbed anything they could, roofs, trees, broken walls, just to breathe. Why did it get so bad? Geography put people in low-lying spots along the water. Many houses were light materials. Early warnings went out, but storm surge didn't land for everyone. It sounded like just big waves, not a sudden inland flood. And when power and phones died, help struggled to move through roads buried in debris. The numbers are heavy, thousands of lives lost, millions affected. Coconut farms, the backbone for many, were flattened, jobs disappeared, and recovery took years. But people rebuilt. Evacuation drills got sharper. Surge maps improved. New shelters rose on higher ground. The lesson hit hard. If you like the video, like and share and follow for more.